with each chapter, the action is increased so much, and it, again, it is here as well. How do you manage to keep up with all, all of that? I mean, does it take, start taking its toll at some point? Um, I'm a little older now. Uh, <laughs> I guess when I started, was I even 50 yet? I don't know. Uh, you know, so, yeah, I mean, the action, I love it so much, and that and that's a great motivator. I mean, I love the John Wick story. I love the character of John Wick, and, and the opportunity that the directors have given me as, a, as an actor to, to play that role and to do the action and keep that connection with the audience and to tell the story is a, is a great gift, and... and you know, I'll do whatever it takes, and, and it's so much fun. I mean, it's big fights. It's big fights. I mean, come on. Oh, yeah, obviously, you also have that time with the dog as well, but you also get a time, a chance to ride a horse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, how much uh, do you enjoy, you know, spending all that time working with animals? Because they always say don't work with children and animals on set. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, we wanted to open up the world of, of John Wick in this chapter, and and so there's a lot of action that goes, and it's John Wick action, but now it's on a motorcycle, it's on a horse, it's in a knife fight. Um, and so the training for that, you know, is involved, but it's, it's really fun, and uh, yeah, hopefully people will enjoy it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm actually surprised that, you know, he hasn't ended up in a wheelchair as yet. How, <laughs> how long, how much further do you think you can take the franchise? How long? I mean, you know, it's really up to the audience, right? I mean, if they like what we're doing, then we'll get a chance to, to keep telling the story. I mean, I know I have ideas. The director, Chad Stahelski, has ideas. And, I mean, it would be fun to, to keep exploring it. This time around, you've increased the level of action as well this time. How does Keanu keep up with that? I mean, it seems quite difficult. I think a lot of rehearsals, a lot of ice baths, probably a little bit of scotch here and there. Uh, no, he's just that guy. That's why we've had a working relationship for over 20 years. I mean, it's a testament to what he did in the Matrix trilogies and everything since. He cares, he's passionate, and he is a co-author of the franchise. It's, uh, to him, it's a, it's a labor of love to our crew. We've known for 20 years. The stunt team's on it from all over the world that we've been working with for the last 20 years. It's just, it's that magic, perfect storm where you pull together, you know, a hundred of your best friends and the people you respect the most in the industry and put it all together. And this time around as well, you've also increased the animal count. <laughs> you've Love got animals. dogs, yeah, a horse as well. Um, I mean, how easy was it, you know, to, to work alongside those animals, especially with um, Hallie's uh, two dogs? No, if, if you, if you want to end your career as a director, I strongly suggest working with as many animals as possible. I mean, if you, you want to end your sanity, that's a great way of doing it. But at the end of the day, when you look at it, we're very proud of what we did with the time and the money we had. And again, I, I just love working with animals. I love, I love practicality. I love practical stunts, practical effects, and you know, obviously real animals. And this time around, we also get to know a little bit more about John, about the Continental and the High Table as well. I mean, how do you go about keeping that fresh to keep that franchise going? Um, honestly, at the, at the beginning of every development stage, Keanu, myself and the writer sit down and just put up every idea we have and we just start honing it down to what we think is the most wick thing we can do. And it just, you know, again, it's a labor of love. It's just, we just make the movies that we want to see. And can you ever see this franchise coming to an end, or are you happy to keep working on it until you drop? I, again, we we consider each one an end, <laughs> and then the audience determines where we go from there. Okay. And finally, um, the, the the first two films are being shown up the road at the Prince Charles Cinema. Do you have? Do you think audience have to see those two films to see this one? Um, I think we try to keep it somewhat. Um, I guess we open the invitation up that you can come in and kind of jump in. We give a little backstory each film to kind of put you in the place. Uh, even the first John Wick is dropping you right in the, the uh, center of his life. So I would suggest seeing the first two, but you definitely can step into number three and work your way backwards. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!